Usually things run smoothly, but every once in a while, Federal Reserve banks are pressed into emergency action. For an example, let's go back in time, back to 1992. It's August 1992. The B-52s release a new album called Good Stuff. In Minneapolis, the Mall of America opens for business. With 300 stores, it's the largest shopping mall in the country. Meanwhile, a major hurricane is moving directly towards South Florida. We expect that the storm is going to be in our neighborhood here by early in the day, Monday. Monday, August 24, the storm hits with full force, carrying winds that reach 160 miles an hour. Local airports are shut down. Most of the area is without power. In its wake, devastation that is nearly total. All your life savings, right? Yeah, all my life savings. Put everything, every money in the house. Everything. Tuesday, August 25th. Almost everyone needs food and emergency supplies, but most stores are shut down. We're selling generators, chainsaws, gas and oil. The only people selling things come from out of town. They won't accept checks or credit cards. So there's a huge demand for cash and local banks are running short. That triggers emergency action by the Miami branch of the Federal Reserve. The Miami branch is part of the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta, which serves the southeast. Branch manager Jay Curry was at the bank soon after Andrew struck. We started calling all the financial institutions and talking with them, let them letting them know that we were in business and wanted to ensure them that we heard they may have a cash shortage, that we had cash available, and we would do whatever possible to get that cash to them as based on their need. Local banks have an account with the Fed. They deposit their extra cash and the Fed credits their account. In normal times, the local banks ask for cash as it's needed. In this case, it's needed immediately and in great quantity. Bob Jensen is vice president of the First National Bank of Homestead. People literally had to walk out of the lobby with somewhere between three and five thousand dollars in cash, and many people needed far more than that and got more than that. If you didn't have cash, you didn't have nothing. Absolutely nothing. Butch Sullivan owns a service station in Homestead. The town was hit especially hard. There was no water, no phone service, no electricity. Just to buy ice, residents had to drive out of town and wait in long lines. Butch Sullivan needed an emergency generator. You had to pay $2,000 or $2,500 cash. No credit cards, no checks, cash. They wouldn't accept anything. Back at the Fed, Susie Fernandez and Ana Vieira were in charge of shipping cash to local banks. Tuesday, August 25th, was the busiest day on record. 99 million, 99 million was paid out that day. It was a very, very heavy day. Hectic, everything was done like manually, no computers. The 99 million dollars was sent out to local banks throughout South Florida, including the First National Bank of Homestead. We got deliveries every day, every morning early. We got large amounts of cash and lots of uh, large bills. And the, the Fed essentially gave us whatever we wanted, whatever we needed. Thursday, August 27th, South Florida is just beginning the long process of rebuilding. Hurricane Andrew has left more than 300,000 people without homes. It's the most expensive natural disaster in U.S. history. Many people did everything they could to help their neighbors, including workers at the Fed. The Federal Reserve is like the main bank to all these banks. It's like you go to your mom for help, and that's what they were doing. They were going for help, and the banks were in need of cash because the people were in need of cash. So we, we were there for all the banks, and we were there for all the people. <laughs> 